Nice to see you again too. How you doing? Good. 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 Season three doc. Season three doc. Where are we gonna see her going this season? This season. Had a bumpy ride. Yeah, I mean it's been housing, so it's yeah. always gonna be a bumpy <laughs> ride, you know. And um, it, you know, doc is um not uh, not a fighter. And she's someone she considers herself a coward. And somehow she's still in the apocalypse. As far as she's concerned, I'm sure she thought she would have been dead a long time ago. And um, she's not. So season three really finds her fighting fight, finding her fight. Um, I mean it's not perfect at all. And um, I think she's really starting to live a little, not just survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that more enjoyable to play? It, it is. I mean, it's interesting because, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit different from Dog. I'm more of an extra than she is. And, um, and so I love the challenge of playing an introverted person trying to be, trying to connect with people, you know? And, um, and I find that to be, I don't know, I really like that. Yeah. 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 There has to be a certain element of you that's like, everybody else is busting heads and running around with weapons, and why can't I do that? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And the writers know that, the writers know that, you know. But there's, you know, I, I think Neil does a great job of keeping the integrity of a character, because as much as, you know, I'm here, I'm like, I'm going to be badass and like, blazing the gun, and you know. show up at work holding an axe and walk by, like, I'm not going to I can do this, I can hatch and people like Vanessa. Yeah. No, not, but like to, to keep the consistency of the character, you know, they, they, they've been very um, smart, I think, you know, but this season, you know, she's starting to step up. So as you've explored that new facet thing of the character that you haven't had to play before, yeah. does that then change your perception of her personally as you look at the character? Um, um, that's a good question. Um, um, Yes and no, right? Like, I, I feel like whenever I read the script, I'm, I'm myself, of course, as a character, and, and Kia wants to fight, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I took karate my whole life, like, I, I can fight. I am playing the character one that does it and watches everyone else fight, right? Um, so there's that jarring, and then I think about it's right? She would run, she's not going to fight, right? And, um, so yeah, I, I think I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if your perception of the character has changed when you explore that. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so given that juxtaposition between me and my character, I'm always curious to, to see what the, the line that the writers are writing as they grow her up, because she has to be able to fight that. She has to, right? And, um, and so my perception shifts a little bit, but it's in a way that makes sense. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any uh, sci-fi shows you think would be fun to do like a crossover with? Oh man, what would happen if the Walking Dead zombies and the vampires like yeah. battle royale? Right? Yeah. Like, what would happen in that situation? I don't know. I, I, I would love to see that. Yeah. So in season two, we see Doc has a little bit of a, a romance yeah. thing going on with Jolene. Yeah. Um, are we gonna see any more or explore any other romantic options? We see her a little bit more. Okay. You know. Um, and, and how was it playing? Oh the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Caroline Cage. We did a movie years ago, and so we know we actually know oh, each other. Makes you it know, easier. It makes it very comfortable, and uh, and she is just lovely, just lovely, and very, very smart, and extremely talented, and um, she intimidates me with her talent. Um, so she's um, it was it was great. It was really great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's exciting to see that. And yeah. It needs a little love, too. Yeah, and we all do, yeah. right? And I think it's interesting that Doc got chosen, mm -hmm. right, for that kind of storyline. Um, I mean, there's other romantic interests and whatnot, you know, but Doc, really? Mm -hmm. That's the last person you call. Yeah. I'm sure she didn't even think that. You know. Oh, do you do you know if she had dated women in the past, or was Jolene kind of like a? I always thought that Dog was so isolated that she didn't deal with that at all. Yeah, and she's such an indecisive person when she's out of control, which you know, in the dating world is chaotic, right? 
that she just didn't really decide. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I imagine that she's probably more that decided, you know? Um, because she's she's someone that needs someone to really draw her out to get her trust. And I don't think she's ever had that. So I, I, I don't know if she really knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So in that sense, too, your character's almost like a counterpoint to some of the other stuff that's going on in the show. You're the one that's not fighting. You're the one that's getting the romantic storylines. And everybody else is out here running around fighting and probably dying and not exactly... <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that kind of juxtaposition interesting? I, I, I do, I do. And that's that's one thing I really loved about this season was, um, you know, in a world where everyone's fighting to survive, she's, 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 she's living, right? She's taking the apocalypse for her to discover love. What that could be, you know. It's her last chance. It's her last chance. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Were there? Is it, I know you can't tell us a whole lot about season three, but is there anything that you're really excited for the fans to see? There's a lot I'm really excited for the fans to see with Doc and, and, um, and her storyline and um, uh, oh, her boss's storyline. That's bananas. I, when I read it, my mouth was just like on the floor constantly like, what? Okay, number one, how are we going to shoot that? Shoot that? Shoot that? How, you know, or rather, how are they going to shoot that, right? And, and that's crazy. That's just, you know, I did not expect that. Um, I feel like with Vanessa, her storyline is a shocking because she's really on a journey of discovering herself, right? And what her power is. And it's and it kind of is coming to her. She's not deciding it, you know? And, um, so that's been a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Do you think that's one of the perks of working on like a sci-fi genre show yeah. where it can go completely... Yeah, yeah. Fun, yeah. It can go really, it, it really, you know, you know, we were joking at one of the other tables, like, we don't even know the musical. And I'm like, if you get a season six, you know, Everyone has to do a musical episode a musical at some point. A musical episode, what the hell would that look like? We need Julia singing, we right? need Axel singing. Axel singing, right. Sam Dance numbers. singing. Actually, Chris Heidel does sing very, very well. Really? Oh, yeah, Sorry. very well. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does kind of sing a bit in the show in a he really, does. really creepy way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.